Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to ramp speed or uh, ramp slow motion in iMovie. So the other day I was trying to do this effect and I, you know, I, I used to know how to do it, but I'd kind of forgotten. So I hopped onto the old 2017 edition book of life skills, aka YouTube, and, uh, and tried to find it. And I'm checking out, you know, the first few videos that pop up on how to, you know, ramp slow-mo or ramp speed in iMovie. And I see that all these guys are basically taking, it's very simple to change your speed on a clip. So what they're doing is they're taking a clip, it's all skateboarders and stuff, which is fine. Um, but they're like, oh, you start where you go into the trick and they're taking a clip and they're splitting it into tiny, tiny little pieces and they're ramping their speed. They're changing the speed for each clip by like a percentage, a percentage or something, sorry. Um, and I knew that there was an easier way. I remember there being an easier way. So to make a long story endless, there's a much easier way. iMovie does have the functionality to do it properly. Uh, and it's very straightforward. It just, you just have to find it. So I figured I'll do a tutorial. We'll, uh, we'll get the proper method out there if it's not already, because it didn't appear to be in the top few searches at least. And hopefully it helps some people. So let's get started with the computer. For a serious topic, Let's take a super serious clip here of me juggling spray cans. Uh, and what I'm going to do is drag this clip into my editing area. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Actually, no, I don't need to zoom in. All right, so here's my clip. If I play it, I back away from the camera. I juggle my spray cans for a little bit. Sorry, my screen's not going, not keeping up very well. And then I shut the camera off. Don't need any volume for this. So the the method that a lot of people are using here is they're going in and they're splitting the clip here um, using the clip trimmer or just by using Command B if you're on a Mac like I am. And, uh, and they're splitting it up kind of as they want to start ramping down and then they're moving over just fractionally and splitting it up again and so on and so forth until they get to the end of the part that they want. But that's not what we're going to do here. Instead, we're going to select a portion of the clip. So we can do that by finding where we want to start slowing down and hitting I for in. And then we move to the area where we want to kind of end this and we hit O. And now we have a portion of the clip selected without splitting it. Now, once we've got that, we can move over to up here, our speedometer. For our speed editor, it just looks like a speedometer. Or you can alternate click or right click on here and go to show speed editor. I prefer to use this option. And we can use slow or custom. To keep it simple, let's just use slow. Oh, perfect. It comes up with custom anyway. All right, so let's make it 50%. 25. My computer doesn't like to listen to me today. So 50%. Um, and here's the key to this. You need to have smooth checked off. You see it right here. If you don't have that checked off, then you're going to go from normal speed, drop instantly to slow motion, and then once you reach the end of your selected area, you're going to bump right back up to normal speed. So there's really no point in having this portion selected this way. Uh, you could just split the clip. By the way, a nifty little thing to note here is that you can actually manually adjust this speed using these for all three sections so you can have them at varying paces um, anyway so yeah I just I just moved that and I moved my speed to 44 so I'm gonna bump my speed back up to 50 here if I can get the freaking computer to work uh, and then I'm gonna select smooth and that's really the key to it right there is once I select smooth, now it's going to slowly ramp into that slow motion. Well, not very slowly. It's, it's a pretty quick transition, but it's still a smooth transition. Unfortunately, we don't have a functionality in here that allows us to lengthen or shorten that transition. If you want to do something like that, you're going to have to use a better program like a, Adobe Premiere. Um, but still, the option is there to smooth out that transition. 
and it becomes even a little more evident if you select a slower pace for the middle. I really shouldn't, but uh, yeah, there you go. Now, the reason I used 50% there and I said I shouldn't really use 25 is because this was filmed in about, it was filmed in 60 frames per second. Uh, and your brain processes 24 frames per second properly, maybe 30, but generally about 24. So if you want to slow something down to 25%, you should really be filming in closer to 120, 120 frames per second, as opposed to the 60 frames per second that I was able to film this in. And in order to do that, you do need a, a fairly nice camera. Anyway, that's about it. That is how you, uh, how you ramp your speed. So that's it. That's how you ramp your speed in iMovie. Now you have all the tools you need to make your cell phone video if your buddy jumping his scooter over your Pepsi can. Truly badass. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's great for all sorts of sports videos and stuff. Uh, iMovie, of course, is not the best software for editing, but hey, I, I use it because I'm too lazy to learn anything that actually makes sense. So I hope you found the video helpful if you're trying to edit something in iMovie or entertaining if you're not. Um, as always, if you enjoy the video, please feel free to give it the thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend it over some of those silly ones where people are splitting the clips like 150 times. And thank you for watching. Have a good one. I will see you next time. Thank you.